Time to play with some play. Okay, I'm uh, not going to be working much on it today. I've had a lot to do today. I started out this morning, came down to work on my clay, and my light was burned out on, over the clay that softens it. And uh, that sort of put an end to it. And uh, then I had to uh, get some DVDs out to a, somebody who ordered one set uh, yesterday and uh, I got a two o'clock deadline to get DVDs to the uh, post office and I met that and got the, the, DVDs at the DVDs there in time to get them out today but uh, I gotta tell you it's been hard to get keep my eyes open because I got a about four hours sleep last night and it's because of the wind outside it just when it's a north wind which it was it uh, really makes a lot of noise upstairs where I sleep and do my cooking and all the other stuff I do <laughs> anyway I'm uh, just getting ready to start this figure and uh, the first thing I do is lock in uh, the rib cage where I got it and uh, that's what I'm doing. I have people ask me all the time, does, how, what do they do with the uh, armature that's uh, holding up the uh, main armature? And it's, they just make a mold around the post when they make a mold of, of the figure. And in the wax stage, when they make a, a wax from the rubber mold, uh, they... Uh, have a little extension here it's a small, short short uh piece of the uh our casting of the uh support and they just cut that off the uh, wax and fill in where the hole was so it doesn't really cause any problems it just you got to have that uh, armature supported or if you don't because uh, if you don't it'll just flop over on its belly. Yeah, I'm getting tired of winter. I'll be glad when summer gets here. Not all I'm going to do today is just cover the 
main armature with clay and call it quits for today. I still don't know what I'm going to do with the arms, but I'll worry about that another day. Oh, this is perfect. It should be two heads wide at the shoulders. And it's one head there and there. There and right down to uh, the groin down here. So that's... Uh, these armatures are really well made. These uh, true form armatures. And it saves hours of work. Uh, putting together an armature. I, I've been putting together armatures uh, from scratch for over 50 years and it's kind of nice to be able to just have one ready-made. You can get your true form armature if you need it. This is a 24 inch armature uh, from uh, Sculpture Depot in uh, Colorado, Loveland, Loveland, Colorado, beautiful country over there, except I don't think I want to be there in the winter time, it can be tough. Hi, I've just got a small request. Um, if you like my videos, click the uh, thumbs up. I would really like to see a lot of those clicked on. I know a lot of you guys watch me and and uh, it would be a nice return. Um, if you're watching me for the first time, uh, click the subscribe the bu button and uh, the uh, little bell next to it and uh, then you'll get updates of uh, uh, my latest videos. I, I video everything I do when I sculpt and I've been doing this since 2008 so I got a lot of videos. <laughs> anyway uh, I'd like to build my viewership and uh, the only way to do that is if you subscribe and click the little bell and give me a thumbs up when you watch my videos if you if you like them also share my videos with people who who you think would be interested in sculpting all right let's get on with the sculpting You gotta get the head at the right height. A human figure should be about seven and a half heads tall, ideally. I love having my calipers, but it's really nice to have a quick reference. Uh, 
item like this piece of wire that I've cut to be a head length long. And uh, it's really makes it a lot easier to uh, double check yourself real quick uh, without having to uh, have a pair of calipers right there and always having them at the same uh, width and then to bend it and have a half head length uh, at, as the uh, little handle. And it just, it makes it easier to uh, have a reference. I, I learned to do that when I was working on a, a monumental piece. Uh, I'll show you a picture of it here. I did a sculpture of a Blackfoot warrior uh, some years ago and uh, turned out pretty good, I think. Called Iron Horn. And uh, I had a wooden dowel with the head measurements uh, drawn in magic marker on it uh, to help me to uh, quick, quickly take a look and see if my head measurements and all the other proportions were correct. Because if you don't have your proportions right, uh, you might as well stop your sculpture and send your clay back to the place where you bought it. Because <laughs> it ain't going to work out good. I'm making the uh, rib cage a little wider than the foam uh, because this is a male, it's not a female. And like I said before, the uh, armature, the uh, true form armature, is made as a armature you can use for a female figure and a male figure figure and it just takes a little bit of uh, adjusting of the armature or in the clay to make it uh, comply with the uh, proportions of a male and or of a female female would have a narrower shoulder width. Uh, female is a one and a half heads wide at the shoulders, whereas a male is ideally two heads wide. Now I've had uh, women who've uh, posed for me who were uh, a good two heads wide in the shoulders. So you can't always go by the ideal. The ideal was set down by the Greeks uh, 3,000 or more years ago. And uh, the Romans uh, practiced that uh, same set of uh, proportions for their clays or their sculptures. Um, now, a heroic figure would be eight maybe eight and a half heads tall and uh, depends on what you're doing. The uh, female rib cage would be more like the opening in the rib cage on the uh, true form. It's more of a V-shaped. A uh, male is more of a half circle shape. You learn all this as you uh, learn how to sculpt. You learn proportions and everything like that. I cover that quite extensively in my instructional DVDs on sculpting. And uh, especially when I do a full figure.
Well, I'm running out of soft clay because I haven't had the light on long enough to keep it warm. And so I'm going to have to call it quits for today because you can't work with hard clay. The, when I came down to my studio this morning, the light uh, that I keep my clay warm I had burned out and I didn't have a replacement bulb and it takes a 100 watt bulb. I had to go to the hardware store to, or the grocery store to get the, some 100 watt bulbs and they're hard to find. I have a ton of them out to my storage, but I didn't feel like going all the way out to my storage. It was too cold, windy, and uh, quite honestly, I didn't feel like opening the door and going inside, so I was looking for 100 watt bulbs and uh, found a few at uh, the local hardware store. So um, I haven't had the light on on my clay for quite a while until this afternoon. Um, just putting a little bit of a curve in his body. Uh, even though he's standing straight with his legs straight down his hips straight um, I don't see any reason why not to tilt his body just a little bit and give him just a little bit of uh, attitude all right everybody that's gonna be it for tonight and uh, I'll see you all next time Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.